Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1603, Design Parking System. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic and the code. Let's dive into the solution. So here I have taken the first example from the Litecode website. So in this problem, we need to design a parking system. So in order to design the parking system, we are given three inputs. That is big, medium and small. So these three inputs are nothing but the number of spaces that is available to park these type of cars. So basically we have three types of cars can be parked in this space that is big, medium, small, right? So initially we will be having an input of parking system which indicates the number of slots available for the particular type of cars. So first we will initialize that. So we will replace big with one and medium with one and small with zero. So there is one slot to park a big car and one slot to park a medium car and there is no slot for parking a small car in this system, right? So this input is for just for this particular example. So it varies for different types of example, right? Then we are going to use the function add car where we are going to check whether we can park that car in this available slot, right? So if I was able to park that car, we need to return true. And if we can't park that car, we need to return false. That's all the problem is. So here we have the add car input. So here one represents big car and two represents medium car and three represents a small car. So now I'm, I'm going to try to park these cars in the available spaces, right? So now first I will try to add car one. So now I will take this one and I will minus with one. The reason why I'm minusing with one is that I need to check the zeroth index, right? My input starts from zeroth index in the spot list. So 1 minus 1, I'm going to get 0, which is nothing but this 0 type car slot. So I need to check whether there is an available slot or not. So I'm going to get 0 and I will check in the 0th index. Then I need to check whether it is greater than 0 or not. This value is greater than 0 or not. Yes, 1 is greater than 0, right? So I need to return true. So for this input, I am getting true, right? So after returning true, we need to reduce the slot. Since we have parked a car in this slot, so we are ready. We have to reduce that. So next, I will be getting the value 2. So 2 represents, I need to check whether I can able to park this car in the medium slot. 2 is medium, right? So 2 minus 1 is 1. So I need to check the first index. So there is an available slot and I can park this car, right? So I need to return true and I also have to reduce by 1 since I have parked the car, right? Then we will be getting 3 where I need to check whether I would be able to park the car in the small car slot. I cannot park this car, right? Since there is no slot here. So I need to return false. Next, I will be getting 1. 1 minus 1, 0, zeroth index represents big type car and there is no slot here as well so I need to return false and I am done with all the inputs so I need to return this one, right? That's all the logic is, now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe, this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially, I will be initializing the available spots for the type of cars big medium and small right then in the add car function i need to check whether there is space available or not for that particular car right i will take the car type and i will reduce by one and then i need to check is there any spots available for that particular type of car if it is available I will reduce that particular spot by 1, right? Since I have parked that car, I need to reduce that by 1. 
then I need to return true. If there is no spot is available, then I need to return false. That's all the code is. Now we will run the code. So the time complexity will be order of one and space will be order of one as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. Now to check out my previous videos. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers guys.